anyone who's seen a picture of a Gullian finch knows that they could be on the list of the top most beautiful birds in the world. They are magnificent. There's two forms of them in the wild. They have different colored heads, but they are spectacularly colored finches. And they occur in the northern parts of Australia, in Arnhem Land, uh, in the Northern Territory, and in parts of the, the Northern Territory itself. These birds have been on the endangered species list for a long time. In the past, they were trapped a lot for uh, aviculture, and it would seem that fire, changes in fire management have changed the abundance of seed that they depend on in the wild, and they really did decline down into very, very low numbers, and they are still endangered. However, the good news is, Gouldian finches are making a comeback. And there's now birds being seen in parts of the Northern Territory where you would not have seen Gouldian finches in the past. In the past, it would have been a great expedition to go down to Pine Creek or to, out of the back of Catherine to find some, some Gouldian finches and you might have seen a few of them. Now they're uh, uh, turning up in flocks quite close to Darwin and there's hundreds of them. And we're really hoping that this is the resurgence of Gouldian finches in the top end. The reasons for this great resurgence are a little unclear. Uh, the birds are dependent on seed, they're dependent on surface water, and there's a lot of surface water in the dry uh, these days in the top end. Um, but one of the suggestions is that the main predator of Gouldian finches at the nest, which are goannas, have been decimated uh, uh, badly by the uh, arrival of cane toads, which of course are poisonous to goannas. And there's been a drop in the number of goannas in the areas where the, go where the Gouldian finches are. Now this is not good for the goannas, but it's been potentially one of the reasons why Gouldian finches have increased so much. So if you've always wanted to see a Gouldian finch and you've been put off by the fact that they're so rare and they're difficult to, to, to see, now's the time to be going to the top end, to go to Darwin and see some of these spectacular birds in the wild.